Oh, let's go ahead and talk about this shit. You know, you guys, I just dropped a video on the sparring story between Adrian Broner and Errol Spence. And I see a lot of people try to say, you know, what happened with the sparring story between Floyd Mayweather and Errol Spence? That's the way people want to hear about this stuff. But I'm assuming you probably new to the channel. Don't trip. I got plenty of sparring stories. But if you already seen this, I've been dropped this sparring story on my channel. But if you haven't seen it yet, don't trip. I got you in this video. Just sit back, relax, grab your popcorn, your beer, your weed, whatever you need to relax and chill. Because I got you. You know? And this is an older clip. So you will have my smoke alarm in the background. You know? Times is better, but times is hard then. Now this story right here, out of all my sparring stories, this is one of my favorite ones. Because Errol Spence and Floyd Mayweather was actually in there trying to kill each other, y'all. Alright, let's get into this famous sparring session between Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Errol Spence. Now, I know a lot of people out there may say, love on the hate way. We already heard about this. But see what I told you guys before. Good storytellers are detail-oriented. Good storytellers tell you the truth and they elaborate from the beginning to the end. And we also go in depth. So let's get into this shit from the initial stages. It's like building the house. Let's get into it. So a lot of people think the whole talk of Mayweather sparring Errol Spence started in the Madonna fight. You know, when Errol Spence, I think he was fighting Hoskins at this time. Right. A lot of people thought that was when they first started talking about this fight, negotiating about the spar or whatever. No, that's not true. The whole sparring session was in talks right after the Adrian Broner and Errol Spence sparring session. What a lot of people don't know is Mayweather had a long talk with Errol Spence after the Adrian Broner sparring session. Basically telling him how good he looked, basically telling him how he respected his boxing ability, how he had grit, and that he noticed the talent that Errol Spence displayed against Adrian Broner. Basically, all in a nutshell, letting Errol Spence know that he had a whole lot of potential. And that who knows, maybe they can spar one day. Errol Spence, on the other hand, said he would love to display his skills and his talent versus a fighter that he basically looked up to growing up and a fighter that he has a whole lot of respect for named Floyd Mayweather Jr. That's basically, in a nutshell, how that conversation ended. Both showing each other respect, both basically letting each other know they would love to spar each other in the future. But don't get it twisted. Even though that conversation was mad respectable between Errol Spence and Mayweather, I know both inside each other had this is what Mayweather was saying. Motherfucker. You just stopped my little brother. And we all know how tight A.B. and Mayweather was at that time. 
you just knocked out my little brother. You know, and AB was repping TMT hard at that time. And he on my team too. Don't you know what I would do to your ass if we ever sparred? I know that had to be tingling in Mayweather's head. Had to be. So why Mayweather is showing class. I know that side of him was kicking. And you know how, like, when you was in school or even at a job and you see a fight, that kind of make you want to fight a little bit. So I know Mayweather after seeing that fight and seeing how AB was doing good against Errol Spence. I know that kind of made him want to do the same thing. At least he thought about it. Aside from all the respectable bullshit. I know. I can feel it. And Errol Spence on the other hand. Besides all the respectable shit, he's thinking like, listen, I respect you and all that, Floyd, but you know I just whooped your little brother ass. Don't think you can't get that work as well. It's a man down over here. And yeah, I can put you down too. Yeah, come on now. We all grew up, man. Trust me, I grew up playing basketball. Trust me, I respected Kobe Bryant. But if I ever seen Kobe Bryant on that court, you think I'm not going to try to get him that work? So, yes, Errol Spence is like, come on, yeah, you see what I did your, to your little brother. I will whoop your ass, Mayweather. To a certain extent. Now, don't get it twisted. I know it's like, damn, this is Mayweather we're talking about. Mayweather himself. Mr. 46 and 0, 45 and 0, whatever he was at that time. That all matters. So, that's all I'm saying. They was respectable. But in the back of both of their heads. Approximately around the time when Mayweather was fighting Marcos Maidana. Right? At this point in time, when Mayweather fought Marcos Maidana. I don't know. Now, this sparring session was kind of like, I would say, the Miguel Cotto versus Floyd fight. Rough and tough, giving Floyd all he can handle. Basically, pay-per-view status where everybody and their mama get to see it like Errol Spence versus Adrian Broner. You know, remember I told you guys everybody was there to see that fight? They made that fight like kind of like broadcast. No, that wasn't what this fight. Floyd said, man, shit, you're not finna embarrass me. If you go whip my ass, it's gonna be in private. And that's exactly what happened. I think... Who was there? You could count it on two fingers, if that, one finger. I think it was Errol Spence, maybe his strength and conditioning coach, Derek James, maybe about two more other people, Floyd Mayweather, and, you know, Jeff, Roger, Floyd Mayweather Sr. was there, Leonard Ellaby was there. And that's about it. And Mayweather's bodyguards. Shit, you would think that everybody on the fucking money team would be able to see the goddamn spar. But they wasn't even able to see the spar. It was sad. Floyd Mayweather was that, I'm not going to say scared, but he was that nervous. I, I think nervous. Because I'm not saying you got to let the whole world see the spar like Adrian Broner. What I'm saying is you can have more people than that. And I heard 
the security guards was checking everybody for phones couldn't nobody even record it they didn't tape it listen this was what you call a lockdown private sparring we can't tell nobody being a private sparring all right <laughs> it's funny because it really showed why and can you really get mad at Mayweather no because now I see why so now that everything is locked down and closed and shut down and secured let's get into the best part hey are this sparring to outbox Errol Spence he won the sparring session to fight on the inside with Errol Spence Spence at his own fight it's not like Mayweather tried to outbox fight these guys as I was said so when he was fighting Errol Spence but we all know even if you draw with Mayweather you beat Mayweather but the reason why Errol Spence ultimately gets the W is because number one Errol Spence wasn't even a champion. He wasn't experienced like he is now. And he was giving Mayweather that work. After the sixth round, Mayweather got out the ring. It was yeah, five or six rounds, either the fifth or the sixth. Mayweather got out the ring after they were supposed to continue. And Mayweather walked off. Errol Spence, like, you know, was good. You know, stand inside the ring. And Mayweather, Errol Spence <laughs> looking around like, where the fuck is Mayweather going? Everybody was astonished, like, what's really going on? Y'all got water. Um, What, do you need a restroom break? <laughs> it's funny. Mayweather demanded his security guard. To escort Errol Spence out the gym. That's exactly what happened. So, yes, Mayweather did kind of quit. Even though sparring is sparring. And they did do some heavy sparring. They were supposed to keep going. But Mayweather ordered Errol Spence. And I'm heard from what I'm hearing. Excuse me. Mayweather did it very violently. Get that the fuck out my gym. Get him kind of like how he did Roger. I mean, not Roger. <laughs> Mayweather, his pops. Get the fuck out of my gym. <laughs> That's how he did Errol Spence. And then he apologized like usual. And that's volume three to my sparring stories. Or I'm out.